Hi, this is a, a video to help you figure out how to connect your computer to mine over the internet so that I can do online training with you and help you with issues with Design Edge or with your machine. What you need to do is install the Google Chrome browser into your PC. Google Chrome, this will not work on a Mac. I don't think it will. Uh, I haven't had it work on a Mac yet. But on a PC, uh, with your Design Edge software on it, you need to install the Google Chrome browser. And then you need to go to the site freeconference.com. Once you are here, you can sign up for a free account. Uh, this is a good program. What uh, PlasmaCam had an issue with with uh, online conferencing and linking two computers together, and <laughs> uh, they they had good reasons and not so good reasons. But they did have good reasons for not allowing a remote computer to control your PC that's hooked to a plasma machine. And so I will give PlasmaCam credit for knocking out programs like GoToMeeting.com and my favorite was TeamViewer. TeamViewer was a fantastic program for linking two computers together so that I could see what you were doing and I could look at your screen and even control your keyboard and mouse from my own computer here in Kentucky. And it was great for training. The problem is PlasmaCam saw, first of all, security issues uh, with the software. Uh, by me being able to access your computer remotely, uh, they were concerned about me, you know, if you get up and go to the bathroom or you, you know, have to answer a, a door or something, having me go into your computer and fish through your files and, and download things that I shouldn't, etc. And that's understandable. Uh, they were also concerned with um, the ability to control the machine remotely. Let's say that I didn't know that you happened to have a five-gallon gas can full of gasoline sitting on your table next to a kerosene heater that's running. And you get up to leave, and I hit the button to say, oh, I'm going to send your carriage to the home position. Well, I can't see what's on your table. All I can do is see your screen. So your carriage moves, it knocks the gasoline off of your table, the table splashes, your whole shop burns to the ground, and then PlasmaCam is fighting a lawsuit for allowing that to happen. So I can understand why they have uh, put the kibosh on allowing people to remotely control your keyboard and mouse using Design Edge software. Uh, the nice thing about freeconference.com is you can see my screen and you can hear my audio, but you have absolutely no control over my computer and I have absolutely no control over your computer. So for the moment, PlasmaCam, I guess, has given their blessing or at least they are ignoring freeconference.com and allowing me to use that to do online training. And it works very well. When you go to the freeconference.com website, you will click on resources and go to downloads. And in the downloads, you will scroll down Oh, they do have a desktop app for Macs. That's nice. Mac 10.10 .10 and up. So I guess you can use a Macintosh. Of course, you can't load Design Edge onto a Mac, but you can use a Mac computer, which I would assume means you could use a Mac laptop or maybe an iPad uh, as, a, uh, uh, as a second monitor in the conference. Uh, they also have one for Linux, and they have a mobile app for iOS phones, 8 and up, and Android phones. And then this is what you want right here, the Google Chrome browser. Um, if you don't have the Google, Google Chrome browser on your, on your uh, device, you'll want to download that. 
uh, and get it on, on your computer. Uh, the computer that has the uh, Design Edge software on it. And then when you go there, I'm looking for the page that lets you download the, um, the add-on. And, and up here at the top of my screen, you can see this little thing that looks like a... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a little icon. It looks like a little Mexican with a goatee and a sombrero. But... Uh, it might be, I don't know, my eyes are something else, but if I click on that, uh, that's the browser extension, the freeconference.com browser extension that's installed in my Google Chrome browser. And when I click on that, you can go to screen sharing. And as you can see, I have already installed the browser extension, the Google Chrome browser extension for freeconference.com. But I could click on here and remove it if I wanted to. Of course, I don't. I have it on all of my computers. It allows me to grab any PC and uh, get into a conference. I will tell you that you have to have a good, solid internet connection for an online conference because you're exchanging video from computer to computer and you're also exchanging audio. And uh, it's a little more um, bandwidth intensive than something say like a chat window, uh, where you're just looking into a webcam and chatting with somebody. When, when, uh, when you're sending your entire screen to a remote computer, it seems to take more data. So people with weak connections or people who try to tether off of cell phones or other weak connections. I usually, in a conference with them, they will drop the call seven or eight times during a conference, and it's a little frustrating. It's easy to join back in again, but it's frustrating when they keep dropping out of the room. So try to have either a direct um, Cat6 cable connection to your router, or if you have a wireless, a Wi-Fi connection to your computer, just make sure you've got a good solid three bars or four bars so that our connection will work properly. You will also need a microphone on your PC or on your second monitoring device if you have one. Uh, what I often tell people to do is put two monitors on your, on your DesignEdge computer. That way you can use your DesignEdge software full screen on one monitor and see my screen as a full screen display on your other monitor. If you don't have two monitors, Alternately, you can use a second computer, such as a, another PC, or a laptop, or an iPad, uh, or I guess a Mac now. I, I, that's something new to me, but I guess you can use a Mac uh, laptop or uh, a Mac PC or something. Uh, ideally, you want to have two large screens. Uh, one to view your own software when you're using Design Edge, and one to view my screen. At my end, I have two monitors here. I can view my software and I can view your screen as well. You will need a microphone. The microphone can either be on the PC with your DesignEdge software, or if you're using a second uh, laptop or a second computer that has a, a microphone, the audio can come from that feed. I ask that you only have one working microphone when we're doing an online conference because different computers send out audio differently. And if you have two microphones or you have someone sitting there with you and they're monitoring on an iPad and you're monitoring on your computer and you have a, uh, um, you know, maybe you're using a, a, a laptop as your second monitor and it has a microphone, then I start getting this mind boggling echo at my end because each of those three computers is sending the audio at a different speed. So please have only one working microphone or one microphone turned on at your end when we are in a conference. I do not charge for my online conference time. I do this. This is, this is my therapy. It's cheaper than a psychiatrist. <laughs> and um, it's a lot of fun. So I, I will get online as time and energy allow. Uh, when I'm not running out of energy or when I'm not doing something else, uh, I will get online and I'll spend time with you. There's no rush. 
We can go through whatever issues you have with Design Edge and I will help you learn things about the software and work out issues and we can even work on table operation issues if necessary. Although I don't have a camera on your table, uh, sometimes people will use a, a cell phone with FaceTime or something like that and point their phone at the table so I can see what the table is physically doing while we're trying to work out issues such as height control or um, you know whatever issue uh, may come up with the physical operation of the table. So I look forward to hearing from you. Um, you can send your contact information to add me now at mail.com and I will uh, you know send me your name, address, your phone number, your physical phone number uh, send me an email address, tell me about your table, your software, any upgrades you have added to your software, any accessories that you have added to your table, such as a router or the engraver or even a low-powered laser. People are starting to mount those now on the plasma cam table and that's kind of exciting because the plasma cam actually can use a low-powered laser to burn designs into woods and plastics and that type of thing. Um, moving forward, once you get this set up with the Google Chrome browser with the freeconference.com extension installed and working, and you have one microphone and at least two monitors, uh, contact me and I'll be more than happy to sit down at my PC and uh, link up with you and there's no rush we can take a, a half an hour we can take an hour we can take two hours and link these computers together and get them working once you get them working you would uh, make a note of the settings and the things you have to do to get together again and then from then on it's very simply just one or two clicks and we are again linked together in a conference room and uh, what that does is that will um, that will let us work together. I'm going to try now to demonstrate this using two computers in my own house to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to uh, click here and let's see um, I will go to free conference screen sharing oh well I was there <laughs> okay I was already there and what I want to do is I want to open a room And I will do that by logging into my account. They will want your email address and your password. I'm not going to put that into this video. Once I am in the conference room, I can either mute or unmute my microphone. I can turn video on, uh, which means my webcam, but I don't have a webcam connected to this computer. I can share either my full screen or any application on my computer. I'm going to share Design Edge. This is my computer down here. I'm the only one in the room at the moment, and it says JJ. And then uh, I can draw on the screen and there are some, there's a chat window over here and a list of participants, people that are in the room. There is a, a moderator control over audio so I can turn people's microphones on and off so we aren't talking over each other. Conference details, when I click on that, it will show, it will show you what the room number is that you're in and several other things. In settings, you can set uh, your default microphone and your default speaker. No webcam is found because there was no video feed here. And the default resolution, I keep it very low because uh, you don't want to throw a lot of data back and forth. 
uh, if you don't need to. Design Edge doesn't, we're not playing video games, you don't need a high speed data connection. And then this is just a speedometer here telling you how fast your connection is uh, and you know what's happening. 209 milliseconds, 126 milliseconds, etc. It tells you how fast free conference is working. So I'm going to pause here now and I'll come into this room with another computer to my left. Well, hold on a second. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on this. Mute it. Unmute it. And this shows you my computer uh, screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share and I will share an application. And the application is Design Edge. And you can see now in the little screen down here that I am sharing my Design Edge screen on uh, in the conference room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in something real easily, easy to see here. Uh, let's see, just to keep things smooth. And I will say uh, host, oops. host PC. Okay. So this is <laughs> this is the host PC and that's uh, the one I'm talking on right now. I'm going to log in with another computer and we'll see what happens. I am on now my remote PC. This is the laptop next to my host computer. And I have gone into freeconference.com under another email address. For demonstration purposes, my ID here is JT. On the host computer, I am JJ. <laughs> so on my laptop here, I'm JT. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here after logging in to freeconference.com. I'm going to go down here and enter the access code 3528853 and I'm going to join this conference. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mute my microphone so that I don't have the microphones screaming back and forth at each other. Okay, in the conference room, I'm gonna join the conference. I've mute muted the microphone on the host PC instead. And I will join this conference room, 3528853. And let's see. I want to connect with my audio computer and speakers. Enter the conference. Muted. And now I am in, you notice on my remote PC, I am looking at my uh, host on my laptop. I'm looking at my host computer. Okay, so I'm going to share my application window. Again, I'll click on Design Edge Share. Okay, and you will notice when I click on the little white arrow at the bottom, it's hard to see. There's a little white arrow that shows and hides the monitors that are in the room. And you'll notice that the host PC here is currently the one I am viewing. And on my own laptop, I am viewing my Design Edge screen, which is here. So I can take and I can pin the host PC to my screen or I can, um, uh, you know, well, that's the, uh, if, if there's another computer in the room, I can pin that one up and it will bring that one up as a full screen right here. But right now on my laptop, I'm looking at my host PC and my remote PC, which is the laptop. I'm looking at Design Edge on my own computer, so you can see how this works. Okay, I'm going to, let's see. Um, oh, I, I can mute my, mute my microphone up here. Okay, that's good. So let me try to turn the mic on in the other app here and see what happens. Okay, so... I am recording now um, on both computers. My host computer, I can view my own Design Edge software on my screen, and I can view 
the remote PC laptop on my other screen. And the same thing on my laptop, I'm viewing both monitors. So that's how this would work here. And uh, what I've done is I've um, uh, turned the volume completely down on the speakers of the laptop because the speakers were feeding back into the microphone of the host PC. Anyway, it's funny with audio, you can't, you can't get them too close together or they f start fighting. But now anyway, I have two computers up here. So right now I am clicking on my laptop as JT, I'm in the room and I can see that on the other computer. And over here, I'm clicking on my host PC. And I can see that on my remote computer. So that's how free conference works. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, stop the one recording and start the other one. And this gives you an idea of how this will work. Um, if I click on this here, it shows me two PCs are in the room. There's my host PC monitor here and the remote PC is pinned to my screen. So I'm actually looking at this screen in my, my Google Chrome browser, the remote PC. And then on my host computer, I've got my Design Edge software up and running. Um, I kind of hope this video helps you. It's, it's hard to, <laughs> for one person to demonstrate with two PCs, but it's easier if you, at your place, because we don't have the audio feedback issues, uh, can connect two computers together and you can see how this works. Um, I look forward to conferencing with you online. I do not charge for my time right now to do that. I may start charging at some point, but right now I do it for fun. And um, I do it as time and energy allow. So I'll be more than happy to uh, work with you and get, uh, get a conference going online. And there can be more than one computer. I can have 10 or 20 PCs. I think there's a limit on this room of 25 PCs, if I remember correctly. But um, if you have another friend that wants to come in and join the conference, they can also set up their computer the same way with the Google Chrome browser and they can join this conference room and the three of us, four of us or six of us can get together and chat and work on uh, learning more about Design Edge. So I hope that this has helped you uh, learn about freeconference.com. Uh, it is a really fantastic program for doing um, connections together on the internet and it allows people to get together in a conference room and work together on two PCs without worrying, without plasma cam worrying about you controlling the mouse or the keyboard of the remote computer. All you can do is view the screen and hear the audio. And that makes freeconference.com a good program for doing this kind of online training. If this video has helped you out, give me a thumbs up. Uh, it does help. And let me know. Give me some feedback, suggestions, complaints, comments, whatever. Um, send your information to add me now at mail.com. Uh, your name, address, phone number, all about your computer and your software and every, anything else you want to send to me. I'll be more than happy to respond and uh, open up a new friendship and see if I can help you learn how to make money in metal art with the Plasma Cam tables and Design Edge software.